Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about the Cover FX new Power Play Matte Foundation that they came out with. Now I got sent this PR box which actually has five different shades in there. And you can see it has a range of um, some melanin loving colors for me to try out. Actually I'm wearing right now an 80 on my skin. Um, you guys, if you've been watching me on Instagram, you've seen that I've already been reviewing this and I absolutely love this. We're going to get into the claims of the product. Actually, I'm trying to get it out of this box right now. Um, so I am wearing N80 on my skin right now and I wanted you guys just to see what it looks like as I head out to work because normally I don't wear foundation to work but when I have like uh, big meetings or special events going on I will grab something that's going to be all day lasting but something that's also very lightweight and actually looks like my skin without being too much and I have been wearing this foundation um, since last week and it has been amazing. I am thoroughly impressed we'll go through the review I wanted you to see what it looks like with me wearing it all day so right now it's about 8 15 um, you guys can see and I'm gonna head out to the train I'm gonna go throughout my entire day I will check out or check in rather throughout the day give you a little check in so that you can actually see my skin see what it looks like I will have a list of all of the other products and then we'll dive into everything about this foundation so stay tuned my love before we get into the full face look and how everything tested throughout the day i wanted to give you swatches of the products that i do have and again i apologize for sounding so stuffy i am fighting off this cold but first let's start with an 80. Let me zoom you guys in here this first color is n80 but this is N90. This is N90. Oops, sorry. This is N100. This one is N110. And then this one is P125. So here you go, here are our swatches. love so I'm gonna do the rest of these swatches on my chest and then blend them out on my arm so you can see but as I mentioned this is a very weightless modern matte finish the price is $44 and you're actually going to be getting about 1.18 ounces worth of product which is a very good amount for foundations and this also ranges there is a lot of different colors and especially a lot of different undertones you can find it in either pink neutral or golden and then you can find your shade range from light medium medium deep and then deep which cover effects is just known for taking care of the color spectrum across the broad so again, this is also going to be vegan, cruelty-free, clean beauty, and it's free of talc, mineral oil, gluten, fragrance, and paraben. So if you have any sensitivity issues, this foundation shouldn't be an issue for you. And then lastly, it's going to be from right to left. We're looking at the shades N80, N90, N100, N110, and P125. Okay, so back into the foundation review and wear test. So I'm actually going to be taking the Cover FX Matte Primer to prime my skin. And then before I actually put on any foundation, I'm also going to take my lip balm from Lather. This is their unscented lip balm and just prep my lips for everything that is also about to happen to it. Here, as usual, I'm using the Bector Orange Color Corrector on my skin. And then I'm going to just grab my Cover FX foundation. Again, I am wearing shade N80 in this review. 
which is my typical shade in cover effects and the rest of their foundations that I wear. And what's really cool about this packaging is that you do get it in like a squeeze bottle so you can squeeze out and squeeze it out into different sections on your face. And then I am just going to blend it out with my Equal Tools Perfecting Blending sponge here. Again, this was like $4 I paid for it. Um, amazing. Then I'm going to be using Cover Effects' Cream Concealer. This is going to be their End Deep color and I'm just going to apply that right underneath my eyes to cover up these dark circles. Just gonna blend it in with my fingers here and you can see how it actually covers. Then I'm taking the Cover FX, these are their face powders and translucent and thin deep, and then I mix them together just to give me a perfect little blend. And then we're gonna take care of these brows and then grab some NARS Orgasm products. This is the liquid brush orgasm that I'm using just so you guys can see what the hell I'm applying. And I'm just blending that in with a dry beauty blender and then taking the regular NARS Orgasm blush and using that for the remaining part of my blush. I went ahead and I contoured. I used the Cover FX. That was their all day new setting spray that actually came out. And then I grabbed the Milani Cosmetics. That was a hypnotic eye topper and then an Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil. I'll have all the products listed in the description box down below so you guys can actually see um, and keep track of what I'm doing. So then we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to pop on a little bit of color to my face by putting on this Cover Girl Liquid Matte Lipstick, which I'll also show you at the end of the video, what happened throughout the day. And that's really it, you guys. I'm going to top everything off with my Cover FX. This is their 24-hour wear high-performance setting spray to give me protection all day long. Hey, guys, and welcome back. So I am doing a check-in. So it is three minutes to seven now um just so you can see clearly it looked like a mess so i'm gonna pull my hair back well the rest of my hair and we're gonna chit chat about everything okay so i wanted to come in and do a quick check-in i am a mess right now had a full day of work and it was crazy at work i've been filming i've been running around in the city i've been running around in the rain that's why the hair is so poofy um, just a mess and now my allergies are either acting up or I might be getting a cold so I'm gonna wrap this up quickly so this is the foundation after about almost 12 hours yeah almost 12 hours of wear I haven't touched up anything because I I legit don't even know where the foundation is right now it's probably in the box um I haven't touched it up I haven't blotted I wanted you to see what everything looks like throughout a course of a normal day and this wasn't even a normal day for me it was very hectic i was carrying my heavy tripod so it means i was sweating a lot i was down in the train station at penn station and it's so hot and sweaty so i'm like a mess bucket on top of we went out to lunch with my lead nurse and of course i didn't have an umbrella so i got rained on so everything this has been under some extreme conditions but i think it's held up pretty well like i can see where i can blot and it's kind of oily and also just another thing, I wanted you to see the CoverGirl lipstick that I was wearing. Um, I was also doing a review on that, so you can see. This is, I did touch this up until we had to do a Facebook Live. And we did a Facebook Live at about 3.30, so this is a, it breaking down from 3.30 until now. And even before then, it was starting to break down because we went to Korean barbecue, so I was having like food with heavy marinades and oil, so it did kind of break down. I may give this another chance in a review. It's a beautiful color. It went on very thin, so it's been very comfortable. Um, but you're definitely going to have to reapply throughout the day. So let me zoom you guys in so you can get a better view. Take off my glasses. You can actually see my nose marks because I've had my glasses on all day. Super hot, super sweaty. Hopefully this helps. I will do another full review of the um, foundation, but the foundation gets a major 10 out of 10 for me. It was amazing. The very lightweight, feels like I'm not even wearing makeup at all. It's really skin-like, and it lasted throughout the day, and this performance setting spray, I think, really helped set my makeup because my foundation, my blush, my concealer, all of that looks really well to me. I will go ahead and blot a little bit. And again, I'm sorry, this is so rushed, it's just 
I'm ready to take my clothes off. I'm ready to shower. I'm ready to eat. Like, I need today to end. But I wanted to come in and at least do this check-in for you guys. So, a nice little blotting going on. Blotting. Hopefully this helps you guys. I will have swatches of the rest of the products down below and I will try to get additional swatches for the other colors that I can. I may just run into Sephora and swatch them, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.